Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future training. We strongly advise you to get as much as you can education before you start using uh, life money. Uh, we're going to start. We have over 14 auto trades in your package. We cannot cover everything. But uh, now we are going to uh, do every month we gonna cover certain type of an auto trade and uh, we're gonna start with the market analyzer the market analyzer on the left upper corner this is a swing trading uh, based on one minute and the uh, right upper corner here it is a scalping signal we have around four or five different scalping and you can if you want to you can extend your target or if the market is trending we are the only company if you notice it extend the target by itself if the market trending if the market not trending the auto traders start chasing the market and try to close position this is a brilliant this no one was able to do that except us on the left upper corner as you see from the last entry signal not the whole day the last entry signal it is 260 270 takes into the profit based on one contract the es buy signal 44.3275 target 44.4175 as you see we are using two contract here on the ES here on the market analyzer is based on one contract here is based on two co contract if we look at the uh, Nasdaq the Nasdaq is two contract 570 this one here the market analyzer is uh, 625 and this is one one lot one lot six 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 seventy now and here it is six seventy and uh, on the uh, on the, uh, uh, the the left upper corner here uh, we have uh, the signal and of course uh, if we look at the ES this one based on one contract this is a scalping mood it is 475 475 the Nasdaq 600 and the Nasdaq is based on one contract uh, 100 620 and this one one contract you can put two contract three contract as many as you want this is one type of an auto trade and as you see you have three hundred dollars six hundred dollars and now you have three hundred fifty and this is a really uh, an auto trade with technical that you can understand when uh, on the chart there is all kind of resistance support reversal doing the market analyzer by itself it's not enough but when the auto trade start taking the trade you, uh, you let the auto trade take the trades and then you start looking at the levels if you notice here as we speak right now uh, the YM struggling to cross the double resistance line and this is an option for you to secure some of your profit if you want or if you want to you can also extend the target if you want to the next level if you think is trending look at this is beautiful how the Nasdaq is come in and it is a resistant and you can spot it and this way you can also if you want a close position you can go as high as you want and then you secure some of your profit if this market crosses this line then it's fine if the market start going back it's going to go back to the uh, 1496150 but at least we lock some profit if it's going to drop by and another there is so many different system as an example if we look at the ES it fired the reversal for you telling you the ES is going back against you so what you do you can run and secure your profit or if you want to you can close position but this way uh, 
if you notice there is long long short so even when you are auto trading the technical chart is giving you where is the pullback re-entry where is the support resistance and when there is a potential reversal our reversal do not repaint again our reversal do not repaint uh, this is when it fired the reversal is giving you a warning this is a very enjoyable trade and if you are really uh, uh, want to take uh, uh, trading seriously not to just sit in on the weekend with optimization and be blindfolded uh, what's going on in the market so this is for people are again the market analyzer by itself not if you don't have the system goes with it and indicate where is uh, the trace another things if you look there is a stars below the charts the start indicate that there is a strong trend and if we look under those bars here there is no stars so this is different calculation and here we had one start but now the stars are start missing is indicating there is weakness in that trade so this is really and then we have the trend exhaustion firing the opposite direction so when the trend exhaustion fired the opposite direction and is rejecting from the resistance line this is even if it's trying to climb you can see the potential and you can see where the whole instruments are lining up indicate where this market start losing momentum this is really uh, you are taking away your motions and the same time you are managing your trade in a smart way and you can maximize your profit you're not to just um, 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 uh, jailed by uh, just an auto trade with a trading stop and a dummy indicator as you see here on the e on the y um, start firing reversal there is weakness and then we can predict everything going on by the es this is one type of an auto trading the other type of an auto trading i want to show it is a very easy auto trade which most of you most likely use this kind of auto trade now this is the precision auto trade which uh, we have uh, uh, start uh, putting a new people on it when they purchase the package they have a lot of auto trades but uh, this precision auto trade is very powerful auto trade very friendly use it does not require any filter it's not complicated it takes a normal guy a couple weeks to learn how to optimize it how to uh, put it together and um, and uh, it trade it and uh, and uh, it is this is one of our latest auto trade and it's been very success and um, uh, this is a really um, an amazing and then uh, can this auto trade reverse and a trade in with the trend if you noticed took the reversals you see look at this and a trade with the trend depends on the market movement so it's not to just uh, this is a Russell it's already made it's already hit the target the target is 1000 and we still have 1400 out we're done 2500 and this is the YM there is 2500 and there is 1000 and we're gonna close that one uh, this is the Nasdaq uh, 39 second and all of all those auto trades started around 9 o'clock the first trade was 10 o'clock around 
right around 10 o'clock and this is a 39 second uh, the CL uh, hit 1000 they're all on $1,000 target but if the market go into your direction it's gonna give you a little more so when the market go into your favor and you hit your 1000 it's gonna stay on this is 1920 ES 10 second is uh, one of my favorite uh, took the trade around 9 right after the opening hours hit one two three four it's finished 1725 I never bothered to reload it again because the market if you were on the other channel today it was a little bit chop in the morning so I didn't want to rerun this auto trade within uh, Within uh, less than half an hour, it was done. The 10 second. And uh, DAX closed at uh, 29.30. This one, four minutes. This is my favorite chart for the DAX. Uh, YM, if you want to auto trade the high time frame, one and two is done. You never bother to reactivate it again. And uh, the nine range we were covering today, we were teaching the traders how to look at the auto trade when taking the trades. And uh, all those trades uh, that were um, uh, on the other channel live, and uh, we we covered a lot with this nine range. And actually, if you noticed on the beginning when we were in the room. It was breaking even, breaking even, breaking even. So for hours, it was breaking even. This was covered in the room on the other channel. And then breaking even, breaking even. So till 11 o'clock, we didn't make any money. This one did not make money at 11.36. Then when the, the market start dropping, we took the first trade and the second trade on the pullback and nailed the money. Here is the things is between a, a good auto trade or a bad auto trade. It survived the chop market. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's 2000 or $100. The most important auto trade can survive a chop market. This is another example, ES5 minutes. Also, we have covered that on the other channel and uh, it is amazing and I nailed 36.25 and the Nasdaq 3 minutes CL6 range took with the trend one reversal 17.80 ES 5 minute 36 this one 36.25 this one 36 25 second is my favorite as well for the ES I like the smaller time frame and one trade it was done on $1,000 all of them are on $1,000 this one here is in the scalping mood range and it's in the scalping mood same auto trade and uh, we started around 9 o'clock, win and trade, win and trade, win and trade, and it's done. It was not even one losing trade in here. And what we are doing on this one here is a smaller stop loss, and it was done. NASDAQ, uh, I've been covering a lot this uh, chart here, the NASDAQ, and uh, this NASDAQ 590 somehow, you know, sometimes when you develop something new, you will find one instrument can really ignite. Uh, on the NASDAQ with the precision auto trade on 590 takes, 
is very consistent and if you look on the previous video and the previous video and the previous video is always the Nasdaq 590 takes uh, uh, don't uh, let us down of course we'll have a bad days but it is a very consistent that's all what I can say I don't know how much it will make tomorrow I don't know if it will make it tomorrow but it is very consistent and uh, uh, we started today around nine o'clock and took the first trade the second trade and it was over and that it is uh, is also for the Nasdaq I like this one here for the Nasdaq traders like uh, the DAX I like the four minutes uh, on the Nasdaq I like the 590 takes uh, on the ES I like the 24 second uh, the 25 second and I like the 10 second on the YM has been very consistent on the 24 second if you start around nine o'clock and this is you can see the trade from nine o'clock we had one lose in the trade to start with and when the market start trending it was all uh, history and uh, the DAX four minutes is my favorite three minutes ES 1150 uh, 12 range ES CL 19 and then uh, we have the last one CL 13 range if you wanna if you don't want to deal with a chop market you can use a higher time frame and and it took one trade and it was the rest history so this is the precision uh, auto trade I'm gonna show uh, the TI7 auto trade on the TI7 it is a totally different auto trade the TI7 has around 10 different entries 10 different filters and uh, you know we have around 40 updates a year uh, practically every week we have an update here is the things with auto trades. You cannot generate an auto trade and keep it in the market forever, expecting it to make money. Things change, the market has changed very fast, and we hardly keep up with it. We have around, you can ask any member, we have between 30 to 40 updates a year this is around one time a week we have an update the cost is amazing by keeping two programmers updating and that the updates are free and uh, if you don't update your system and sharp your system constantly it will fall behind so on the TI7 you know uh, it is a different this one here we use the latest technology with a different algorithm on this one here the reason there is a 10 different entries because what works on an ES does not mean it's gonna work on the Nasdaq what works on the Nasdaq is not gonna work on the YM so the big variety of 10 entries is not to just for show it's not to just to brag it's not to just make it complicated no this one here once the a new guy get the idea how to auto trade on this and understand the the the, the, the fundamental of auto trading then he can expand to the higher level of auto trading by using a little complicity not complicity with the uh, hard work but to start analyzing every instruments and put the proper entry and the proper filter on a certain instrument on this one here you can scalp you can swing trading you can reverse you can trade with the trend. You can trade on the pullback re-entry. 
the huge variety of filter you can cut the auto trade as you like with your own condition and at your own risk with this kind of auto trade you can limit your auto trades and filter it to take one or two trades a day yet you can go ahead and be aggressive with it or you can be swing trading it or you can scalp it as we see here this is the Nasdaq 12 range this one here it is 14 second ES 14 second and you can use a small filter with it to stabilize the entry and you can filter it as much as you want even on a 14 second and the reason is because the EIS does not move and if you have a stable auto trade with a lower time frame you can always find the trades even when the market is not moving or the EIS got stuck in the channel you still can survive it a little bit better than use a dummy auto trade you don't think it's just a moving average above or below that does not work anymore and as you see this is the you can use also a higher time frame to to iron all the noises in the market you can do that this is a 540 and here is a this is a very interesting chart i use nine minutes on this one here and uh, for some reason it's a very stable one and uh, it do the job if somebody want a higher time frame uh, this is a Russell 57 second so what I'm showing I'm showing different and none of those with a rank bar you can auto trade with a rank bar this is a 57 takes one two three one two three break even done 1335 on a smaller uh, frequency and this one here uh, the YM if you want to use a higher time frame the difference between a smaller time frame and the five, 595 ticks is not much different CL 300 ticks CL 9 range ES 455 very stable chart here's where I'm trying to get you Nasdaq 520 took the trade took the trade avoid this area here I don't care about the 2700 what I care about this area here if you have a dummy auto trade based on moving average you're gonna be brutally losing money here and this is what is the beauty about filters when you mastermind the filters avoided the chop market and when the market start trending you got it and you stayed out of the market when there is a chop in the market that's the difference between an amateur trading a matter of time is going to hit the wall because he's looking just at PL. a smart trader does not look at PL because one day your PL is high one day your PL is low one day you don't have any PL. the smart trader the mature trader the experienced trader does not look how much you think I will make tomorrow? I don't know how much you will make tomorrow. The smart trader, he will like that, not because of the 2,700. Because this auto trade has keep him away from problems. A problems is going to occur tomorrow. Problems is going to occur the day after tomorrow. And it's endless. Market does not move nonstop. Markets can be a choppy week you're gonna be losing a great deal of money when the market is chop it could be sideways it could be like a tongo dance couple bars down couple bars back and that is not good for any kind of auto trading the smart trader does not look at this 
the smart trader look if this auto trade avoided sharp market or flat market then this one here is a good auto a good chart to trade not the PNL is good is avoiding trouble any auto trade is supposed to make money but an auto trade when they start diving in to chop market now you are in a turbulence and there is a potential losses whether you like it or not to me it does not matter if it's 2000 or 200 as long as you don't go in the red with the PNL so a smart trader will like this he don't chase the money he chase safety and the number one priority in the trading is the safety protecting yourself you don't throw yourself to the sharks and you're not knowing what to do and expecting you're gonna come out of it safe in the trading there is sometimes some fake movement and you have to understand it and you have to uh, to accept your losses and your winning and your risk on a daily basis of course the higher risk you want to take the more rewards and uh, this one here is a scalping ES one minute which most of the auto trades they will never make it on one minute because they're not tuned well and the algorithm is 20 years old and uh, here it is in the scalping mood uh, Russell five minutes he has two minutes lovely on this one here is a YM eight range lovely trade one losing trade and when the market was trending 2500 five minutes ES this is one minute ES I'm proud of it I love the one minutes as you see here this is an example that you cannot be winning every day small stop loss small stop loss if we look at this auto trade and we look at the bar color when this auto trade took that short trade it was a genuine trade and when it went against him closed it by itself and then if you notice when the market start taking a dive again the auto trade took a perfect entry but the market turn around immediately and that is not the auto trades fault it's the market movement in this area here and then when the market took the third dive look at this there is a pattern here one two and three and this is a pattern here and on the third drop the market lost momentum and the auto trade nailed it so if we examine not the PNL forget the PNL I want to know what happened today I want to know why I lost that trade that what's supposed to be the auto trade doing I'm not considering about this I want to know why I lost this and this is where you can go back to this auto trade and you can put filter you can add filter when you add filter you can avoid this so when we are trying or you're trying to optimize an auto trade most most of the traders they look at the profit factor PNL they are chasing the money they are not chasing the technical side of the auto trade when I open a chart like this and I see two losing, two losing trades in there I will try to add a filter to avoid that I don't look for the winning trade I look for the losing trade and trying to adjust the filter so I can wipe up that losses for the second day this is how you build your auto trade it's not how much money it might make tomorrow or sitting miserably behind the computer on the weekend trying to optimize and not look into the fact how we can avoid some trouble in the market which I don't blame the traders but because most of those traders they were trained wrong 
that were trained on Rankabar, that were trained to look at PNL, that were trained to look at the profit factor, avoiding the fact about chop market, because that guy is selling that auto trade. He cannot trade a paper bag. How he's gonna support his own members? He's scared to go live on a YouTube middle of the day and show his skill because he has no skill. He's a marketer. Here is a YM. One, two, three, four. We started around nine o'clock. So that was the first trade, second trade. And here, the CL540. I want to show something else today. This is another auto trade I want to show you to you, which is this available to our traders. They already have it. Called the scalper. Now, the scalper here. We made it for people who don't want to do anything. They just turn it on. You don't need to do it. You can optimize it. You can adjust it. You can do whatever you want with it. You can back test it. You can forward test it. But what we provide, we provide tools. We are a tool provider. We're not miracle. Uh, and this one here this is all ES from the 15 second, 30 second, 1 minute, 2 minute, 3 range, 5 minutes, 4 minutes, 3 minutes, 4 range, 5 range, 100, 100 take, 200 take, 250 and 300. Here is what it is. On that uh, scalper here, uh, we are using market order but in the reality to see a uh, better better performance when you are scalping uh, you need to use limited order to avoid the slippage which we were covering today on the other channel so if we are using uh, the the let's take a smaller time frame and uh, they all started around nine o'clock. Uh, it's five hundred dollars losses, one thousand dollar daily profit. And let's see. And uh, yes, we started around nine o'clock. If you notice on the scalping, there is a small trade. And this is very sensitive. The chart is fifteen second. So this is a market order, but for that scalper, I prefer limited orders because you can get better performance on a limited order. Uh, the things is with this, let's say on the scalping, if you're going to start around 930, you're going to have a couple ticks of slippage here and there. But when you have a limited order, it's a small trade, uh, then you keep your 10 ticks average. But when you start scalping market order on a small trade and you have a slippage couple ticks in and couple ticks out plus commission, in a way you are sharing your profit with your broker. So this is something uh, I just let it be. And um, next week uh, we are going to be tested on 24-7. In other words, we want to uh, we want to run it non-stop from Monday to Friday and I will share the result with everyone uh, to tell you uh, when I when I want to do the test I don't go on optimization I don't this is where I do my test so this one here is start around nine o'clock every day but next week what I want to do on this uh, what we do we go ahead and run it 24 7 day and night we stop, we take out the daily target, and we let them run non-stop. Then what we do, we measure which that the best time frame for that scalper to run, and then we share that with the uh, traders. So uh, this is something for a guy don't want to do anything. 
is the mercy of the market movement to a little work if you want to to advance work if he wants to to uh, the signal uh, what I showed you at the beginning of the video we still have a reversal auto trade we have the next generation auto trade we're coming out with a, a, a brand new uh, we did overhaul for institutional auto trade so we are number one with the auto trading uh, the 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 advance we are doing the high technology we are using and here is the the things is we never increase our prices on the auto trade our prices is the same guy is selling one indicator auto trade the same amount of money you are paying for one indicator this guy is selling as an auto trade we are given a huge variety of auto trades and we have some new traders they didn't want to do with those they just went in right to the reversal so we have some traders that just want to do the manual so the things is we provide unlimited tools we go every day on the practically every day life train people we bring people to the technical side on every Monday webinar. S on Wednesday, I don't go live. I support the new clients, which we have a lot now, the new clients. I go around one-on-one -on -one support to make sure they don't fall behind. Before we made a mistake, we were not aware what e every trader is doing. Now when I go back and check up on those new clients to see where are they and I give them support one on one and I do that two three times it's not uh, a lifetime marriage it is I give them three four rounds on Wednesday and uh, one on one and then they have to leave a room for the newer traders when they come in so we are with you in a different places every single day to make sure you don't fall behind and we provide the education we provide the tools and what you do with it it is at your own risk that's why we strongly recommend get educated our uh, our education does not cost you any extra get to trained and then before you using money whether you are using our software or somebody else software folks that's all what we have for you today and uh, we will see you on thursday on the other channel live thank you very much and god bless every single one of you bye for now